We can see what ChatGPT is thinking by getting it to accompany any and all of its messages with an AI generated image, doing so by using custom instructions. ChatGPT is awesome and can give a bunch of detailed replies, from epic stories to writing blog articles and from generating character profiles to writing captions for social media. You can even just get into a heated debate and discuss a topic you find interesting. All of this can now be paired with a custom image generated as the conversation takes place. With OpenAI soon to be releasing Vision, an entire new feature allowing ChatGPT to analyze the images it's given, I thought I'd show you guys how we can get the AI to give us images in return. In other videos, I've shown you how to get the best image prompts possible, how to use images for games, and showed you how best to use custom instructions. This video should be a nice combination of it all. Let's start by opening custom instructions that we get to by clicking on our name. Custom instructions are ultimately a way for us to apply a global set of conditions to every conversation we have, no matter the discussion. The first box allows us to tell the AI about ourselves ahead of time, but for this video we'll only be using the bottom one. This box tells the AI how we'd ideally like it to respond, and while you may already have details in here, we're simply going to put an instruction on the end of it. This custom instruction is basically a way of getting the AI to do a couple of things. Initially, it will get the AI to reply with its normal message, but immediately follow this by describing that response with a 25 word summary. The AI has been instructed to include the best possible keywords, but also make sure it references any person or place mentioned. Then, and this is the bit that gets the AI to actually generate the image, it gets ChatGPT to apply the keywords to a URL while using a defined format. In doing so, it delivers a description of the image to an AI generator via the URL, and once the image has been made, it outputs it within the chat itself. Now, any time the AI responds, it will use a custom instruction and give us an image that encapsulates what it's just said. We could be asking anything. We could be asking a basic question or asking for a complex topic to be explained. The custom instruction will make all replies adhere to the new conditions and we'll get an image back. If we want an outline of a character, maybe some kind of English medieval knight, it will accompany it with a general representation of that person too, which can be pretty useful. Or say we're not even really after something visual, it's just a random question about farming. I think it's still really fun just to get something back that we can look at. It can make a boring conversation way more interesting. Now you may want to customise this and get it to do a couple of things. You may want it to be more accurate or the quality to be better, or you may just want the images to look a certain way. Well that's easy enough to do. If you want it to be more detailed, we can simply ask the AI to give us more keywords each time. More keywords means a longer prompt is given to the AI generating the image. We just have to change the 25 value in the custom instruction and up it to something like 75. This will add more detail to the image or at least make it a lot more related to what's being discussed. If you have any keywords that you know you want to include, I've added a section at the bottom where you can put them into. This can actually be so useful for controlling the image quality. If you know you want photo realism or HD quality, we simply add in those keywords too. Or say you want it to be more of an artistic impression, well that's fine too and the resulting images will take on those keywords every time. I've added a bunch of fairly standard terms that you may wish to use down below, so if you're not sure, go ahead and copy those into your list. You may actually want something completely unique to you, something that keeps the AI generating a certain themed image. Say you're playing a text-based RPG like this Tarkov sim. We simply add the term Tarkov and it will generate images based on the scene unfolding, but we'll always make sure they're related to the topic. And finally, if you just want to add a little modification to all of the AI's outputs, say you just want it to switch into evening mode, we can add in the nighttime keyword and our farming images now have a night sky to look at. If you have any cool results from customising the prompts, let me know in the comments below, I'd love to check them out. All in all, it's definitely a bit of a novelty, especially if you're leaving it on like I've been. I think it's interesting seeing an AI's thoughts and replies outlined by images, and I think they just make any conversation a little bit more visual, and for me, that's a good thing. Not to mention it can add a whole level of quality to some activities you're already using the AI for. I've added the custom instruction and a bunch of keywords that you may wish to use down below, but I'll also be putting this in my Discord and most likely releasing new and updated versions there too. The community's growing fast and we'd love to have you there. Be sure to check out my other videos on gaming prompts, auto prompt makers for generating images, and my recent guide on just how OP custom instructions can be. 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one soon.